Hello beautiful folks, this is again Ashish from Ashwir Creations and welcome back to our YouTube channel guys. Well guys, today we are going to start our Callup inspired series which I'm gonna teach you in Photoshop. So guys, if you don't know who is Callup, then you can search on Instagram. He is really an amazing photographer and creative, you know, Photoshop artist with cool and creative, you know, lighting. In fact, mostly the photos are very kind of, you know, lighted or kind of, you know, fantasy type of photo. So we're gonna just learn the art of light and we'll see how to edit your photo photos just like Calab. So this is our series of you know Calab inspired and this is the tutorial number first. So we will just go through the techniques and all stuff in Photoshop. So let's get started guys. So guys this is the photo which we are going to edit like Callup so guys in this video we are going to edit just like Callup and if you don't know then just search on Instagram he is really a very creative and amazing artist. Also guys don't forget to follow us on Instagram just type Ashley Creations also follow the Callup and also guys you can just check out our latest updates of our videos as well as photos on our Instagram so kindly do follow us on Instagram just type Ashley Creations so let's jump to the Photoshop so here is the photo which we are going to edit just like you know this photo that is uh, inspired by Caleb and we really do appreciate his work and creativity. So we can edit this photo like this photo right. First of all let's just transform it and flip it horizontal way because our photo was in this direction so we can just arrange both to two up horizontal so we can just compare the both the image. First of all, let's just uh, for select the, or crop the photo for our Instagram that is 4 8 is to 10 or 4 is to 5 ratio and we're gonna just increase a bit little bit of size and guys you can select the photo and I have already made a selection of the photograph so I'm gonna I'm not gonna teach you that right so you can just select the photo right Now the next thing we're gonna do is adding a background to the photograph so just drag and drop this background I'll just put all the backgrounds and PNGs of whole you know lander flowers and every kind of things in the description so you can just download it for free I'm gonna just drag and drop press ctrl T to you know enlarge the image so I have just enlarged it and I'm gonna just place this over here so as you can see this one is literally looking kind of very similar Now let's again just add this you know sky purple sky to the photograph so let's just keep it somewhere over here now let's just flip it horizontally and let's rasterize both the layers now let's again cross select the crop tool and hit enter and you are done now let's go to the filter and we're gonna just blur the background as well as the sky both the thing right so just go to the blur gallery and select the tilt shift because we just want the uh, blur on the front side on the back side of the photo in front area I don't want any kind of blur so I'm gonna just using this tilt shift blur because that is really very cool guys all right so now just hit enter now let's go to the sky now just go to the filter and we're gonna add a gaussian blur to the sky first of all let's select the eraser tool and we're gonna just erase a bit select the soft run brush and we're gonna just erase this somewhere like this now let's go to the sky layer now let's go select the filter and we're gonna add a gaussian blur to the photo so let's select the gaussian blur and make sure to add a little bit of you know, blur don't add too much but only a little bit would be pretty perfect to around 4 pixels right because we want actually the sky to be look very perfectly so here you can just enlarge and totally play with the sky whatever you want but uh, this one is look, look, uh, looking kind of you know perfect I guess just hit enter now let's guys go to the this lavender png and we're gonna add this to our photo and we're gonna just add here and there on the front area this is totally up to you guys so we're gonna just add this
now we're gonna just make all select all the layers and make a duplicate of all the layers so just press the shift key from the keyboard and just select all and just right click on it and just make a duplication of the layer or you can directly press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication now just right click on it and select merge layers and here we have merged all the layers to a one layer right now change the blending mode to kind of overlay as you can see this one is literally looking so perfect and now add a layer mask on this select like the brush tool and make sure to delete from the face area also from the sky because it is actually looking oversaturated we just want it on the flowers and here somewhere like this right you can also you know decrease the opacity of this total layer and now the next thing we are gonna do is adding a brush tool and just erase the rest of the area just like this way Now let's select the curves and we're gonna just add just some minor correction on the face and all. So after adding a background and all the PNG and particles over there, we're gonna lastly add the, you know, the light on the face and next thing we're gonna add is to you know the fairy dust or the you know that the glow warm png or the glow one glow warm to the photo right so you can just all you need to do is just you know download that uh, priest or the brush that is a glow warm firefly fireflies brush i'll put that you know brush link in the description so you can just download it and we're gonna just imp install it to our photoshop and just we're gonna just place here and that uh, here and there like you know using the different brushes of the glow warm and just make uh, it look more realistic and press a duplicate or press ctrl j from the keyboard and just make a duplicate of that all the layers and you can just place here and there and lastly we're gonna add uh, you know the dust particles that is fairy dust particles to the photo to make it look more and more creative and finally guys we are gonna add uh, some kind of light and add a vignette to the photograph and this one would be literally looking so perfect so finally merge all the layers and here we're gonna do the process of you know color grading right so just go to the filter and select the camera filter and we're gonna just add a little bit of you know color grading only a minor contrast adding the highlights decreasing the shadows increasing the whiteness decreasing the blackness adding a vignette and all the stuff we're gonna add in the camera filter and just add don't add make sure guys don't add a you know filter or any kind of preset because the naturally it is actually looking so perfect so it doesn't require any kind of you know preset so I just recommend you to just keep it as it is and just add a little bit of minor color correction and finally your photo will be done so as you can see we have made a perfectly color grading process and finally here we have done our process of editing just like Caleb so as you can see the before and after it is literally looking so perfect guys so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make more and cool series just like this like tony mafo and Callop inspired and if you haven't visited our website then do visit that is ashwircreations.com from there you can just download all the presets and stuff just for free and also guys don't forget to visit my second website that is filterpreset.com also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just type ashfield creations so as you can see the photos are literally looking so perfect uh, so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome